Now, may I ask you? Why would you want me to tell you what time it is? I just need to know. Do you want it to pass quickly? Between seconds. This is a kind of a symbolic, metaphorical piece. I felt like, and this is maybe an old reference some people will get or not, I felt like I was watching an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yeah. Where it was like real and not real. Like you weren't ever sure what was happening. Like, it, like they were just playing with time so much, right? And 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 there was also so there were a lot of pieces and mementos that were like old timey and but you were like oh but present day people could have that so I'm not sure and they were also doing a lot of waiting like the activities I felt like that they had her initially like waiting in the call and the laundry like all these waiting stuff so I don't know I felt drawn in by that um, and yeah, interestingly enough, like I felt invested in these characters even though you don't get too much about them. My one sort of criticism maybe is I feel like they gave a lot of backstory to the guy and not that back much backstory to the woman. And I was like, oh, I want to know more about her. And that kind of bothered me. Because I felt like his was just like trying to rewind time to get back to this moment. And hers was, I don't, I guess like trying to fast forward her life to be something, but I didn't feel like there was enough information about her and more about him. tried to fast forward, which I guess made sense to me because um, with her career being, I guess, the arts in general, um, she wasn't having a lot of success in her current day. She was trying to fast forward her life towards a period of time when she had more roles coming up and th more things going on in her life, which could explain why she didn't have a lot of, I guess, uh, backstory um, because her entire focus was moving forward, uh, whereas this was trying to go back to the period when he was still with his girlfriend and had that magic moment and he was trying to relive that, uh, that moment over and over again. Um, which, I guess it all made sense to me in that sense, but um, the time, I guess how long it took to communicate that message took a little longer than I would actually have liked. But there was an interesting thing that kept happening with the bartender, uh, where he kept reference, or he kept uh, saying this one phrase that reminded me a lot of Ferris Bueller, where there's like, um, if you don't stop and smell the roses or something to that effect, you can miss it. And in my head I kept hearing, <laughs> yeah. I think you mentioned that last Well, I just thought the whole message was that they they were um, the other half of oneself, that they were completing themselves. And and also it doesn't matter that they're male and female because they're both halves within everybody anyway, so that's what I thought. So, and the fact that she was trying to move forward and he was trying to move back, I mean, really kind of yin and yang. I just thought they were the completion of oneself. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. And the fact that they, they said, oh, you, you live here? Oh, I live here? Oh, we haven't seen each other. So that was kind of interesting, too, because you think they would have recognized one another if they lived in the same small building? My reference on this piece was kind of similar. I thought they were maybe two parts of the same poetic soul. But um, they had a really metaphorical way of getting there. They had a lot of repetition and motifs, this music, this, this time piece, these clocks, these seconds.